Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at how to find the area of the triangle formed by three lines. So we have been given equations of three lines. We have to find out the area of the triangle which is formed by the intersection of these three lines. So let's just understand what are the lines we have here. The lines are y equal to x, y equal to minus x and y equal to minus 4. So the lines can be may not be as simple as we look here. It can be comp it can be little bit different in form of ax plus by plus c equal to zero, like three x minus four y equal to zero or four x plus three y equal to twelve. But at the end we will solve them using cross multiplication or point of intersection. So the approach to solve this problem is first to take those lines of equations, find this point of intersection of the lines that's nothing but vertices of the triangle A, B and C. Once you are able to arrive mm -hmm. at the vertices, then you can use the formula area equal to, we know from our earlier classes that the area of a triangle is nothing but equal to, if you know the coordinates, it is of sigma x1 into y2 minus y3 r you can also write it in determinant form. You can say x1 I have y2 minus y3 so it should be y2 minus y3. You can complete the remaining ones. It should be x1 and then it should be y1 y1 there, 1 here. Similarly, you will have x2, x3. You can check that this expansion, whatever we have, what is this expansion? x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1 and 3, 1, 2. That's the pattern. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. Okay. So, first what we will do? We will solve for the coordinates mm -hmm. of A, B, C. So, first A is nothing but intersection of y equal to minus x and y equal to x. You can see very clearly for those two lines, the point of intersection will be horizon. So, I can say A 0, 0. Let's go to the next B. B is nothing but the point of intersection of y equal to x and y equal to minus 4. I have directly minus 4, y equal to minus 4, so I can use it. y equal to x, so x is also equal to minus 4. Let's go to now C. C is the point of intersection of y equal to minus 4 and y equal to minus x. So y is minus 4 is already given to us y equal to minus of x. So, x equal to 4 minus 4. So, now we got the coordinates of the vertices of this triangle. That is 0, 0, minus 4, minus 4 and c, 4, minus 4. Once we arrive at that, we can directly apply the formula. Let us apply the formula and find out the area of the triangle. So, area is equal to half into x1 that is 0, y1 0, 1, x2 negative 4, y2 negative 4, 1, x3 4, y3 negative 4 and 1. To find out the determinant, I will be choosing the first row because you know you can take any row or column for the determinant because this is 0 plus minus plus. So, I can directly go ahead and say half into 1 into minus 4 into minus 4 minus of 4 into minus 4. That is nothing but equal to half into 16 plus 16 minus of minus is plus. So, that is nothing but equal to 
16 square units. Now what I want you to do is, you also know that y equal to x and y equal to minus x intersect at 90 degrees. So can we leverage our old formula area equal to half into base mm. into height and find out the area of this triangle because you can find out the distance between them you can find out the distance between them by using distance between two points find the area of the triangle CAB cab area of triangle cab by taking angle at A as 90 degrees area equal to half into CA into AB you do by that method also you should get 16 square units so let's summarize what we have done find the area of the triangle formed by the lines y equal to x y equal to minus x y equal to minus 4 the lines may not be as simple as that the lines can be complicated as 25 x plus 45 y equal to 125 or 3x minus 4 y equal to 12 whatever may be the line equations we will apply cross multiplication and we will find out the point of intersection of two lines at a time they are nothing but the vertices of the triangle which is formed by those three lines now once we got the vertices we know how to find out the area of triangle in this session we are learning not only sigma x1 into y2 minus y3 we can also represent them in determinant form using determinant form sometimes it's very easy to calculate the mm -hmm. area so in the next session we will look into how to find out the condition of concurrency for more than two lines suppose there are three lines how to find out the condition of concurrency so see you in the next session thanks for your time bye for now